Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie, and for today's video, we are watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I'm excited for this one. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know that this isn't my absolute favorite film. Um, I understand the, I guess, hype for it. I respect it as a film, um, especially as a slasher film. But it's just never been my top one, um, and I'm sure I have mentioned that on my channel before. But it has been a minute since I've watched this, uh, and it's starting to get dark outside, so it is going to be like nice and dark. And it's a bit rainy, so we got a bit of that spooky vibe going again. Uh, so maybe my mind will be changed, will be really focused. Uh, I'm watching it <laughs> and so yeah I will just I'm sure most of you know what Texas Chainsaw Massacre is about so I'm not gonna go over that uh, but this is our 50th episode and I think it's like our video I guess uh, and I think it's perfect for that I was really excited uh, that this one landed in the 50th place I think it's just like the perfect film to do that. Um, I'm also not gonna be taking a break. We're gonna keep going. Um, but I am planning on posting a like midway through video of just something else. Um, it's gonna be like a top list video. Uh, so I hope that you guys won't mind that and that you'll enjoy it. I thought it would be nice to give all of us just that one little momentary like break uh, but do not fret because this is going to be one video and I'll be right back on the list. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and watch Text Chainsaw Massacre and let you guys know my final thoughts. So, just finished with watching and... I meant to say in the beginning of this, but forgot that the version I'm watching is on Amazon Prime and it is actually a unrated version. I looked up the length of this one compared to the length of the, I guess, original, what I'm assuming is rated version, unless this, unless the original is unrated too, I'm not sure. but. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, um, it, when I just googled it, it said it was like an hour. When I just googled Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it said that it's an hour and like 30 minutes long. This one was an hour and 23. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not really sure what the difference is. I'm not sure if the extra minutes count for like credits or anything. Um, and like I said, it's been a long time since I've watched this. So... I'm not sure what is like new or different if you've seen both versions let me know um but man I really forgot the majority of this film I forgot the I guess brutality behind it like I knew it was brutal I knew that's what it's you know known for but man I, like I said, I remember not really jamming with this film, but I think I've changed my mind, guys. Like, I think that a film on this list has actually changed my mind. Uh, it was, like, it goes on really quickly. Like I said, this version was only an hour and 23, and so much happens so quickly. Like, yeah, there's the opening, which is like the travel moment, which these films always have, and you're kind of getting to know characters a little bit, and like what place they hold in it, um, and no matter what, they're kind of always generally the same. Of course, you always kind of know who our final girl is right away, and in this case, it is Sally, and she is a fantastic, fantastic final girl. Um, so you do have that, like, opening moment, uh, like I said, like all of these have, but you still get to the action pretty quickly with this one. Like, as soon as they get to, uh, where they're going and they kind of, uh, st 
stumble upon this other house, that, like, shit kicks in very quickly, and it's almost kind of non-stop from there. Um, I mean, I guess you have, like, a couple of moments when the characters, some of the characters don't know who, what happened to the other characters, um, but, I mean, stuff just really, like, those moments are pretty short. Like, stuff really just goes and goes in this film. Goes hard, and man, I forgot just how much it does in this one. I, I liked it. Uh, I mean, like, obviously it's creepy, and that's what I liked. Like, I wanted to be scared and creeped out, and, and this film really does grab your attention and, like, really makes you watch <laughs> intently um of like what the fuck is happening and like i remembered the parts of the family and like you find out that they're cannibals but leading up to that with everything that's that happening with leatherface drink every time i say it happening uh you like i kind of felt like is this film gonna like end like before you get to that i was like is that like something that i just like maybe was from a sequel like i don't know why it just felt like everything is like so focused on this one person which is how it's meant to be like you're not supposed to know that there's anybody else so the fact that it like tricked me even though i've seen this film and it's obviously like a horror like an iconic film in the horror world like everybody i think even people outside of like the horror fandom know what this film is about so, to an extent at least, but yeah, I just like, the fact that I was able to still trick my mind, uh, I feel like it's definitely very, very impressive, and I really like this film. Now, I do think it's one that I will stick to checking out every now and then. I don't think it's one that I want to rewatch too often, because I liked the fact that there's stuff that I didn't remember. And I think that that's something that made it really enjoyable for me. So I think that I'm going to have to, like, keep this one in, like, a little, like, every now and then vault along with the Halloween and Friday the 13th. Uh, those are two that other ones that hold a little bit of a special place in my heart in a way. You guys know why this little flash reference. Uh, that I don't watch them too frequently, even though I know they're going to be on this list, so I'm going to have to watch those as well. Um, but yeah, I I liked it. Uh, so let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this one in the comments below. If you did enjoy this, please do give it a big thumbs up. Make sure, if you're creeping, that you hit the subscribe button for more horror-related content. Before I go, a quick shout out to my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for helping to tribute to the channel. If you know the perks to win Patreon, links are in the description below along with all of my other social media. And don't forget to also check out tomorrow's momentary break video, which will be a uh, top list. I'm not going to tell you a top of what, but <laughs> uh, I will see you guys again tomorrow.